It's Ash from Super Videos back for another video for The Walking Dead. In this video, I'm going to be doing my review of the most recent episode of The Walking Dead, season 9, episode 11, called Bounty. Before I actually jump into this, I know in my reaction of the episode, I did say that I thought this was a great episode and that I thought it was one of the best episodes of the season. But with that said, now that I've had enough time to digest the episode and basically think about the episode in general, I can give a more fair and reasonable review of the episode. So I think this was just like the other episodes of this season, specifically in the second half, a very strong episode. It was not mind-blowing, although it did have its great moments. It wasn't mind-blowing but with that said it was a very very strong episode for what it was now the only reason i did say in my reaction that i absolutely enjoyed it was because of not only the tension with alpha and the whispers specifically the baby scene but also the great performance to give a fair review, I would say this was a very, very strong episode. Now I'm going to go through some of the main points here and just give my brief thoughts on it and say what I liked or didn't like about it. Starting off with the flashback, I absolutely loved that we had a flashback. I didn't expect the flashback, specifically a flashback from the six-year time jump. So it was definitely refreshing to see and interesting to see. It did give us some clues and indications about you know, what's to come and also about some of the past beef or history between the communities, which was great. It was also great seeing Jesus back. I absolutely enjoyed that. And adding Jerry to the mix just made the flashback a lot better and more entertaining to watch. But I absolutely loved it. And I thought that it gave us a lot of great information, not only about what's to come, but also about the past and what could have possibly happened. Speaking of Jerry, it was great to kind of get the news that he's going to be a daddy. And it also connected to later on in the episode where we actually see his children. So that was also a great touch to the episode. Tara stealing the stuff from Alexandria. Now, I am a little bit disappointed. I think, although this is a very interesting topic, I just hope that it's not the only main beef between Alexandria and Hilltop. I hope there is more to it than that. I know there's something going on between Michonne and Maggie too, which is going to be revealed, and also the X scars on Michonne and Daryl's backs, but I just hope that there's more to it than just Tara stealing the medicine from Michonne and Alexandria. Then we get into the charter stuff, which I absolutely loved. I thought that was a great touch, not only to a brighter future, but also something that touches back to what Rick did, connects to Rick and his legacy and the speech that he gave at the end of All Out War. So I absolutely enjoyed that. Going into the part with Alpha and her threatening and also addressing the group, talking to them, I absolutely loved that. I loved Samantha Morton's performance, I thought that she did a fantastic job and, you know, the way that she brought Alpha to life just gave me chills. Her performance was absolutely phenomenal. I would even put her speech, specifically the part where she says, you crossed into our land, you killed our people, there will be no conflict, I'm done talking, bring me my daughter or there will be conflict. Specifically that part, I could even compare it to some of the great Negan speeches that we've had. It was that great and maybe even better in my opinion. So I absolutely loved some of the Alpha dialogue and I also loved the interaction between Alpha and Daryl, the back and forth between them. That was fantastic as well. But then we get into the part where there's a bit of pushback from Daryl's end because he doesn't want to trade because of what Lydia told him and everything. But then Luke and Alden are revealed and they pretty much want to go ahead with the trade or Daryl does. I did love that part where Luke and Alden are revealed with the mask and, you know, all of that crazy, insane stuff. I absolutely love that. When we get into the part where Henry sneaks out with Lydia, I just thought that was stretching the story. They didn't need to have that in there. If they wanted to have something like that, they could have changed it a little bit because it felt like filler, to be honest. And it didn't have a lot of content, aside from the conversation Enid had with Henry. Aside from that, there wasn't too much in there. You know what I mean? So they could have taken out that part. That was the only kind of issue I had with the episode. The other issue I had was with Connie. Now, to begin, why was Connie so far apart from Kelly and the other guards? 
I don't even know. So that's one thing to begin with. But then when she hides in the cornfield, we have a part where Luke is actually signaling to her. How does he know she's in there? If he knows, then other whispers probably know as well. And also, we had Luke and Algon with masks on. So they probably couldn't see that much of their surroundings. So that makes it more unlikely for Luke to have seen Connie sneak into the cornfield. If Luke saw it, I'm sure other whispers would have seen it as well. But with that said, I absolutely loved 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 the part with the baby from when the baby starts crying to you know the look alpha gives to the mother putting the baby down to you know the whispers kind of leading the herd a little bit away but then also some of the walkers going near the baby i absolutely loved that i thought that the tension that was built in that specific scene was fantastic it was some of the best tension building moments that I've seen in this show for quite a long, long time. So I absolutely loved all of that. And it just shows us how savage and psychopathic Alpha is. She's not your typical villain. She is murderous. Like she doesn't give a damn about anyone. She's only there at the hilltop because of her daughter. That's it. That's the only reason. She doesn't care about anyone else. You know what I mean? So I also thought that was great. The way they fleshed that out. Something that wasn't really done in the comic book. Then we have them finding Henry and Lydia bringing them back and then the exchange happening. Like I said, I don't care too much about Henry and, and Lydia leaving in the first place. I thought that was too much. They didn't need it. With that said, I did understand why they did it because they wanted to, you know, build up the tension even more because if Lydia was there, then they could have done the exchange very quickly when the baby started crying. So that way there would be no tension. So I understand why they did it. It's just that they could have done it a lot better. Now, when we get to the part where Lydia is going towards Alpha, I absolutely love that. We have Alpha slapping Lydia. That was fantastic in terms of character development. And the way she says, everyone calls me Alpha, you do the same thing. I thought that was great. It was also done the same sort of way in the comic book as well, but I thought they did that pretty well on the show. Now, going into the part with the kingdom, I loved most of what we saw with the kingdom and their supply run. Although I did think that they could have justified it a little better. I thought a light bulb or whatever they were getting, taking the risk wasn't worth it. And I think that both Carol, Ezekiel, and other kingdomers would know better. They're wiser than that to be going after that, knowing that there's that much dangers in that supply run. But I love that it was connected to the fair. I did speculate that. So I love that they connected it to the fair that way. I really like that. But aside from that, they could have trimmed a little bit of the kingdom supply run story and maybe had them go in different places and not just go in one place. You know what I mean? Different locations. And also they could have had a better outcome, a better prize than just a light bulb. You know what I mean? With that said, I did love what they did in this episode overall. And I really, really enjoyed the episode. And like I said, if we're just looking at the entire episode, I would say this was a solid episode. Nothing mind-blowing, but a strong episode. That's it for this video. See you next time for another super video. If you like what you see, press like, subscribe for more content, and press the bell button to receive notifications for daily uploads.